Yo, yo, shout out to everybody that's listening right now, because y'all are in for a treat, all right? Today is Juneteenth, we black on purpose, we doing our thing today, but we also drinking our wonderful Bel Air Rosé, but- Out of top. In- <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, perk, look, I know what I'm saying. what I'm saying? Here we look. That intro might be might be that intro. That's you. That's you. You hear me? I appreciate it, my anything, dog. If anything, like if I would have imagined you with a podcast in my head, that intro would have started playing. Okay, my nigga, so I head. appreciate that, that, dog. Yeah, That's yeah. my shit right there. Yeah, so you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So in case you've been living under or smoking rocks, this is the informative Joseph the show. I like to call the Champagne Hour. I'm your host, Champagne Purpy. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Got him clapping. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today we're gonna do things a little big. I can't it can't be a little big, so we're gonna do things big, big, huge, right? So I got two people with me today. We don't have four, we have two people, but three is enough. Um we have the big three. In case y'all don't know where it all started in Baton Rouge musically, uh, we're gonna tell this story from three different points of view. Yeah, you know when you First say thing, stuff like that, it started arguing. Because look, I'm not about to say this for them no more. I don't want to talk. I'm, I'm not here for that no more. So this is what we're going to do. Let me introduce these people Come. right quick. Are they Bro, ready? They're ready. Hey, no, look. How we going to... Look, I want to play it like this. Let's really have a conversation. I don't want... We're going to run it like... Y'all know who this is talking if y'all like not watching. We're going to run it like the podcast, but we got to really conversate here. Every well, say so less. Fuck all... Long. Fuck the scripts, then. So, fuck so, the scripts. So, so, so Let's get it. I ain't stepping on your toes, but you really my dog. I really know you, so I got to really... I'm going to keep it G. Fuck it. That's how we coming. You turned me up when you was like, look, this is really just a conversation. You heard me. This we is, just going to add reunion. the cameras and we just going to add the mics. This is reunion. You heard me? And I feel like you was right. That shit really goes. So I don't want you to hear me. It's up. Like so in case stuff. y'all know who that is talking, well, I'm going to tell y'all who that is. First things first, we got our guest host of the day is um, one of the biggest people in the city. In he case mind. that's behind the scene, um, he's quiet. You know, you know him from BCG, you know the cyphers, you know the clothes, you know the old blog back in the days. Over there to my far right, we got... Say your name, my G. I go by Drew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Drew, what, what the Instagram name is? Shit. Because, you know, most people call people by the Instagram name, but your name is Ill Squizzit. Ill Quizzit? Ill Where that come from? Where that come from? He's I a don't fancy even know. Is it, is, it, is it that nigga off of uh, ATL? No. Huh? Man, this was before no. ATL. So if y'all, <laughs> no. if y'all not watching... Y'all know who our guest of honor is today, Mr. Too Lit, his motherfucking self. I'm about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm about and, it. Hey, dream team captain. Went from a C to a K. He do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Justice League superhero. You hear me? Bring break 3000. Yeah. Still on repeat. Yeah. The littest nigga in the city. If he ain't around, then you a clown. And um, all this niggas about the same thing. Yes, sir. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He keep his that promises. We uh, dropping Chris James balls. Gifts? Yeah. Yes, all white Nikes whiter than the skin on his teeth. What that nigga name is? He gonna say your name? He's trying to kick. <laughs> all, white nice, all white Nikes. All white Nikes. Tell them oh, people man. your name, Chris man. Chris James, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, come on, man. Oh. So clearly we already turned oh, up. Yeah. I Tell promise you this just happened. We just hey, no, put look, the cameras off. I kind of want to not even want to sip the bottle because, look, I'm about to tell you this. I'm turned, not even because of the bottle. I'm just turned. That's just me. Man, man. it's a I'm blessing. I'm sipping this because I'm thirsty. You hear me? But... Yeah, just being right here. Y'all know what time we on tonight. Y'all know what time we on tonight. It's finna go. This ain't even a look. This is me naturally. Man, I'm just, look. I was I wasn't even rolling all day like I was just chilling all day, but then I closely got to the time I just turned up because it's like nigga, this is it's how long has it been since all three of us been in the same room? Shit. Oh, wow. three? Oh man. 2015 type shit. Ooh, oh, wow, shit. Three. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere between that. 2015 type shit. So, Nigga, don't even know why that's important though. No. 16 at the latest. So yeah. listen, in case y'all don't know, we gonna um today we talking about we gonna we we visiting with my dog Chris James, but we gonna tell y'all the story of um how my dog got rich off rap. You feel it? Oh my yes, god! Sir! <laughs> hey, 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 h
Go ahead, go ahead. Because that's why I'm trying to tell you, Drew is retarded. Stop, stop, stop it, man. My dog turned up with you for real, <laughs> y'all. This nigga is too lit. You nigga know I keep. No, I'm. All right. Oh my so listen, interview, that's what the nigga was saying. Nigga was stomping too much, but fuck it. That's how I just be feeling in my soul. But look, that rich off rap shit, that bitch not just no title. I ain't just Come on. tweeting that shit on my soul, boy. Nigga, really so we gonna we gonna tell this from three different point of views of how we got there. You know what I'm saying? Um, we started all the way from the bottom. So um, me and Chris James. We started off in uh, third grade together on some shit. Wild Wild Elementary, right down halfway tree road. 444 four, four, halfway tree And we road. sat at the same table, chased the same bitch. We say third grade, fourth grade? I think it was fourth four, or third, one of the two. Fourth grade, it was Miss Shoe. Yeah. Shout, Shout out Miss Shoe, 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 man. Miss Shoe's still there. She thug it. She's still there? She's still there. She still still there? there? She still oh, yeah. she should be the fucking head general in charge. She's still there. She's running thing. After Miss Shoe. <laughs> Miss Shoe had a business. God damn, you been at that bitch long time. Hell yeah. So but, listen. So fast forward. We're going to fast forward all the way until we you know, got into our growing thing. Mm. Um, I think what y'all did, that first cypher together first? Yeah. Man, Drew. Yeah, yeah, Drew, tell yeah, them what you was right doing at this time. Right down the living. Shit, we was, we was really doing clothes. That was it. Well, that was 2012, I believe, huh? Because I was gone. We started clothes like 11-ish. Okay. I was out of school for this cypher. That can shit. Mm-hmm. We was out of we school. We was out of school because I, yeah. I was in college. Mm -hmm. I seen the cypher. I'm like, damn. But see, I feel like I've been doing my data for a little minute. I ain't seen it. I'm like, damn. Nigga, I'm going to keep it G. I, I asked me to Sam, always got, he got fucked up a little bit. He got fucked up. Yeah, I said, like, damn, nigga asked me to I be ain't. in that bitch. Damn, yeah. see, nigga asked me to be in that bitch. I'm like, ooh. Shit, they know what up with me. Shit, why they ain't why ain't nobody vouching? At this time, I was gone. I was at basic. I mean, yeah, yeah, you was at basic. Yeah, yeah I was at basic. Vouching. You was at basic. Nah, we, we put together that first list, two different groups, and yes, somebody pulled out like three days before it. Crazy. And I was just like, I was mad because I was like, man, I'm about to like redo shit. I'm about to turn shit down. Uh, and my brother, Dre, used to run with you, was still run with your sister. Mm -hmm. And it was. Shout she, out, Scooch. She was like, she. Shout out, Dre. Shout Chris out, Sarah. Man. Let me just get my brother to do it. And I was like, that is your brother. Let me see what's up. And I ain't gonna stunt. In three days, he put down a, probably the sickest verse on that bitch. Hey, look at her my apologies to anybody bitch. else who was on that bitch. Savage. But, now you can't did. apologize. It is what it is. So, mm -hmm. we had that first cypher drop. This time, your boy touched down. I just came home from basic, so I'm just stepping back into the scene trying to see what's going on. I was hungry. I was hungry in basic. This is rapper perp. I was, you know, I came home from basic with a notebook full. I was ready to roll. But see, nigga got to realize this too. This ain't just no regular cypher because I feel like niggas ain't really understanding the, the magnitude. This was a, at the time, we ain't really had no rap scene. You hear me? This was a real life, all right, who them niggas in this city doing it? This was everybody who was doing it in the city at the time. That was the niggas in this cypher right here. So it wasn't yeah. no Pee Wee shit going on right here. That was no the, Pee Wee League. Yeah. Go search that bitch up. You it wasn't freshman squad. This was it the varsity. It wasn't no freshman squad. It was the niggas that's doing it around this time. Ain't nobody else wasn't doing nothing. So that's why I'm saying I had felt the weight. But I was like, damn, nigga yes, ain't cool, Chris. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck, you hear me? Nigga had ended it up as motivation, but yeah. you hear me? Everything happened in ways. The only so thing before us was the dope game did one about a year or two before us. Mm -hmm. and that, but that was a bunch of niggas that's that whole, was so far older than us. I like was it about felt to say, so that's different. a whole nother generation. That ain't even our generation. Yeah, we ain't had none of that. Ooh, ooh, come yeah, them, they doing their shit, you hear me? <laughs> they doing their shit. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Hey, this nigga is wildly, y'all. Oh, yeah. I wish I could feel his energy up in this bitch. Oh, look, I'm on my body. This is probably gonna be the loudest. This probably gonna be the loudest pod that I have. It's gonna be so the far. loudest pod, I but hate. it's gonna be up. So look, hold on, hold on. So at this point, I came home and I saw Droop doing his shit, right? So I'm like, who the fuck is this Droop guy? I seen he had this blog where music was all on and shit like that. So I'm like, shit. Nigga. Shout out to hey, Dory because he did he did a lot of that blog shit. I hate typing. Shout out Dory. Shout out we to gonna Dory. get you on here too, my G. And shout out to you for always listening too. I really appreciate that, bro. Drew, we gonna I get feel you like in here. Fell out the sky. That's my dog forever. I feel like you had just fell out the sky. He like, definitely did. Like I don't know. It's like you just nigga just popped up in there. I don't know. And like, I came Drew from doing his shit. I came from the pits of hell. With the shits. I told, I, I got on Twitter and I told Droop, I'm like, man, shit, nigga, you got everybody on that blog, but I'm rapping better than everybody, nigga. What, why I ain't on that bitch? And what, you remember what you told me? And I told you, you fucking rapped in and I put you on that bitch. This yeah, one full okay. Time. This one purpose full time. Yeah, this is up with me. So then what I did, that travel made me travel back to my dog, Chris James. He was uh, producing at this time, engineering at this time, pulled up to Chris James. I told that nigga, look, that pussy ass nigga over there, man. That nigga told me I need to rap. So look, this is what I got. Oh, we locked in that bitch cooking. We locked in that bitch. <laughs> Three minutes spitting. I think I ran that bitch in one take or some shit. <laughs> we locked in that bitch cooking. We locked in. I ran that bitch. Cut the lights off. Put the shades on. Cut the lights off. Put the shades on. My niggas know. 
Yeah, well, fuck with y'all. Y'all know the routine. So we did that. I recorded that, dropped that, and guess what happened? I ended up on the blog. And that's history. That's, that's been my dog ever since. Front hey, well, page. Like I said, we authentic with this song. Hey, what my filter got to be? What's up, though? All right, bet. <laughs> yeah, spit your shit. Spit your shit. So what happened after that? What? After that, then came the next cypher, which was chaotic. We hey, turned the city over that, that one. That one was wild. We uh, turned the city over that one. one. Yeah. I love it. That I, bitch I was wild. It. That was one of the official bitches. You hear me? That's okay. when, Twi- when Twitter was really Twitter. You hear me? We had did our thing. We had everybody waiting on that bitch for real. Man, for real. I'm going so to say That's this and I'm going to tell you the Go story ahead, Drew. Cypher. Go no. ahead. Let's, t- let's, let's talk about it. The only thing talked about the week that the cypher dropped outside of my cypher was Beyonce dropping her album. That's what I'm saying. That was it. it. No Pee Wee shit. Y'all got to understand this shit. The, from the first drop to the second drop, where nothing talked about until Beyonce dropped. She shook the world, but... Alright, so this it. this one. Some niggas, we ain't talking about no jig shit or nothing. We was really spitting. You hear me? Shout niggas out, really spitting. Shout out to everybody. That's why that niggas was respecting that shit. Everybody that felt like they can rap at the time. I'm lying. I don't mind even say that. Everybody that was spitting at the time was on that. You did it what the college? I'm trying to think you did the college that. lineup and then you did our lineup. Yeah. First lineup, and y'all can find this on YouTube as well, BCG Cypher. It's back on there. Um I think I seen it, but I don't know. Uh, first one was Gussy. Gussy, then Lou. Oh, part one? Yeah, Gussy. It was Gussy, AB. It was Gussy. I'm, well, go ahead. I'm trying to say that bitch or not. It was Gussy, Lou. Then it was A, no, Genesis. Jet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Corleone. Gussy, Lou. Uh, Corleone. Genesis, Corleone, Jet, and AB. Shout out all y'all. We Shout gonna get all y'all in here. Yeah, it's, look, we gonna have a cipher reunion. Shout damn, then I'm gonna have everybody come on this bitch and spit. Y'all better bring that spit Sicky. though. So then that was the first cipher, and now when did they numbers or whatever? Double back. Who you feel and, like won the first one, Drew? Ooh. Who won the first? Oh. The on, on on the first round. If you plead the fifth, you gotta chug the rest of your bottle. Out the Man. gate. Who won the first round? I give my answer to. I give to mine out the gate. Too. I give my rank them. I think, man. I think straight up. No, well, no nigga, just do your pressure. top three. Do your top three. I, no, no, nigga, no, top no, one. No, 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 no. Okay, top one I, easily. Everybody got their things. Okay. I ain't come everybody got their things. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Goosey got boys always. No, nigga, ain't say that. Goosey got boys. Say no, Jimmy. No, <laughs> no, Look, no, no. I'm gonna come on this bitch. I I'm gonna hold you. a nigga accountable on this bitch. Who won that bitch, bro? That first round. Ab got my favorite verse. Okay. Hands down. I respect it. AB got my favorite verse, hands down. AB I, need to keep rapping. I had to hit AB. AB still rapping. I'm going to see some no, shit. No, he's not. I don't keep, think no, he's rapping. Like, keep rapping. Man, AB was just in the studio yesterday. Really? Shout not out AB. Going. Man. Listen, we ain't bleeping no names out this episode. We gonna shout out everybody, man. This is the city, bro. Like right was, now, we got a whole new wave of new rappers. But this was the thing back then. And shout out to all the OGs. You know what I'm saying? But not saying he ain't keep rapping. I'm just saying. Yeah, he, yeah, he gotta keep push rapping. that shit. Yeah, still yes, sir. Keep rapping, man, you, you gotta hear. You gotta listen to his verse a few times to really understand it. Hey, so be ran. I'm gonna keep it. He ran. He ran hard. He ran it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. If I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand though. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It is hard. I just started. That about first you talking about the, uh, the first, first verse. I mean the first it's round. It's hard. Cause Gussie came out Gussie strong. Gussie did shit, bro. I think, I think Gussie, Gussie came Gussie out strong. It. I'm gonna give it to Gussie, I'm about bro. To t- I'm about to tell you, yeah, I'm about to say that too. Cause Gussie the only person I can remember. So if, if what's it was about ten years later. But Jet did his thing. Shit, Jet did his thing heavy too, yeah, though. Jet pro- did did his thing. I'm shit. sure did. Uh, I'm sure Jet did his thing, but if Gussie the only person I could remember Gussie that really smashed that bitch, Gussie had a punchline every verse. Every verse. I mean every every ball he had a punchline. It was a punchline. So and it was serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, in case y'all didn't know, at this time, we had hashtags and everything, and then we had everybody hashtag their favorite rapper at this time. It was never a winner because Droop is too passive to do some shit like that. If it was me, on the other hand, we would have had, had a winner. I just but thought today, we decided to win And I would say round one, um, Cypher like number one, it was Gussie. Yeah, yeah. Gussie did I mean, let's, like let's back back two weeks, though. Oh, the, I hope I don't watch the, this bitch. The crazy, I mean, thing, the crazy thing about the Cypher was... Shout out to Pula. FKOD was doing ciphers then. Yes, oh, yeah, he did right. do that. FKOD was doing ciphers. We didn't do that. We, we gonna started get to that next. We did. Me and you did this. Yeah, this I did the, the second wave of FKOD ciphers. I did both them bitches. The Lil, you well, did. I, there was Lil Fast. I maybe did still both FKOD. Them bitches. Shout out you Pula. Shout out to Pula. That first one was be- the first one was first before the in March. And, people shit. and then like they said, came. That was that was you know FKOD came right after that. Uh, they came right after that in like October, November. 
Mm-hmm. And we had already had the cipher planned. I started with talking to y'all about them in like October. Yes, sir. Because we we did it all the right way. We not started me. we started. Early. Uh, nah, this, this one, you, one, the second one, the second one. Oh, the second one. Okay, yeah. yeah second we we started doing this the right way. Nigga was a sub in that first one. And then FKOD was doing they shit, and they they did a handful. And it got to a point we already doing a, like planning the production, and you got the whole city saying don't do no more ciphers. Fuck like, that! Like we it, we shook the city with that. One. You got the whole city at one point was saying, "Can we stop doing ciphers?" Like we we tired of that. But you got so many niggas in the city that was trying to do shit that didn't get a chance to show what they was doing. So we was really head down, really trying to get more mm-hmm. of it in. And mm-hmm. it was interesting for us to be like. Niggas don't want to see this shit, but how can we make niggas watch this shit? Right. So that's what, okay. So basically, what, what the purpose of that was, um, in case anybody caught a misinterpretation of that, it wasn't saying that Pula Cyphers wasn't up because Pula Cyphers was up. I remember the barbershop joint and the outside yeah, his shit joint was up. with cues on that hoe, ran Pressure. everybody on that bitch. The thing was, Droop changed the game on production. I would say, me personally, he changed the game on production and how things was being ran. Pula was from for a, the streets. Um, Pula was from the streets, was for the streets and Droop was the, the industry. Was for the streets, and he yeah. put on for the streets, too. Droop was and for I'm a, the internet. Listen, I'm going to take Droop my glasses like off his, for this his, one. I took them off and put them back on, but I'm going to take my glasses off for this one. I'm going to say, real talk, this is why I fuck with Droop so heavy because Droop is the reason that I do what I do for the city because Droop was the real blueprint, my nigga, mm-hmm. for everything of how my standards of how I do shit. Yes, sir. You know, he taught me to make sure that I'm always ready for the industry in case the industry watching. That's a real man over there. That's a real soldier. And even to this day, if I need anything, matter of fact, Droop, did my motherfucking logo You know what I'm saying So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I mean Like he could be a hater And not fuck with me Because of what I'm doing But he really handed the baton to me And that's a real nigga over there I always switch your phone up <laughs> That's pressure he, he, You ain't gonna get in touch with him You can text me He's gonna text <laughs> you back Another week or two But <laughs> So Then Cypher number one dropping Everything was crazy But I remember Me and you uh, Set the timeline In flames Before we dropped our Cypher that had second. the whole city hot. Oh, yeah, that yeah. bitch had beef. Nigga yeah. talking, man. That bitch had beef. So, Ooh. okay, so shit. Now, years later, who won that second one? Me. Stop playing. I got to say that, though. But look, because you're my dog, I'm going to say that. But look, me. Stop playing. First of all, this nigga was late. This nigga was late. Very fucking late. Nigga, nigga almost made me cancel that bitch. I was chilling like... Nigga was late. Hey, don't have me. T- look. Nigga was late, late. Yeah, look, I'm going to talk my shit. So, we who the, was in the second one? We was, had to eat all the sandwiches by the time Sam was... was Boo Milton. Perp, D Lane, D Lane, Kareem, Kareem, and Baron. Baron wait, the Great. Wait, 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 wait. Was Kareem in the second one? Kareem was Kareem definitely was in the second one. No, he started it off. Q was in the second one. Q who? Q the truth. No, he no, was not. No, 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 no. Q was in the first one. Q was in the first one. Q, Q was in the first one. He was in, we talking about Q part two. My bad. We Q talking about part one. two of the second one. Mm-hmm. The Titans, the the gladiators. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let so, me, because I don't want to speak in, in, in correctly. Who around that time was doing their shit with the music? We Wade. had Baron in that bitch. Wade no. was. Wade, Wade did his shit at shit. that time. Him. I'm trying to say, like, all right, you know, Wade was a whole nother crowd, though. Yeah. Uh, in that rack, in BR. They had to. I mean, y'all was had, you know. I mean, you had, like, Ripper was still doing his shit. Shout out Ripper. Shout out to Ripper. Yeah. Ripper been doing his shit for a while, for too. For a minute. I can't that wait was to like the click this. tight time, but that was, you only had click. That was around the time, all right, man, we got click tight that time. Yeah. No, that was way after click tight. That's what I'm saying. That was but way that's, oh. how dry, that's how dry we was. We yeah. was like, the city was really dry. It was really nobody that was doing that yeah, shit at okay, that time. Yeah, I think I feel like Gates was the only thing of Louisiana at that time that was making some noise. Boost was in jail at that time. Cause that's when Boo Cause you Boo ended your verse with, with Free Boost. You you ended your verse with Free Boost. Boo was in the jail. Yeah, yeah Boo was in jail. And that's when Boo Milton was heavy with the Point Blank shit. And they yeah, Point Blank was bumping. Going on in the city. Uh, you still had uh, with Rodney Rap Game. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. was he was rapping. We still rapping. James Jones. Uh, James Jones. Yeah, like them. But them niggas older than us. Yeah, yeah, they like generation. to me that running that same like dope gang crowd like yeah. the the bando like they all they yeah. all older than us. Shout out Pat. Shout out to Riskini too. Shout out all of them. This 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 episode is so y'all can see like the real true background of yes, BR hip hop. How that shit really pushing the culture. How that shit really came about. So you all y'all gonna hear us talking about. All I'm going right back into the shadows after. This Fuck all of that talking. Who won that second round, Drew? Chris James, man. He's not time, playing. Man. How how Chris came on that bitch? I think you it was a time y'all niggas gotta spit to figure it out. I, I had forgot my verse. I had came on that bitch. Yeah, let's talk about. It. I had came on that bitch. I had forgot my verse on that bitch. But that's cause I be 
I just be too out of my body on the bitch. Bro, spit your verse then. How I came on that bitch? Spit your verse. I'm trying to tell him I'm a Baton Rouge soldier. I'm trying to tell him I'm a Baton Rouge soldier. Yo. Dream team cap. Yo. Shit. That's it. They gonna have to quit rapping. Eating this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Eating this shit. I hope the rise brought the napkin. Yo. <laughs> Come on, finish that bit, man. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> of course. That's how a nigga did on game day. Nigga forgot that bitch that we shot it, too. So, anyways, y'all know I destroyed that bitch. So, we perp did it. Did perp. Look, Perp had his little uh, scheme. They know the Perp straight mask up the whole time. Man, they know what time it is, man. Like a serial killer. Yeah, come on. They know what time it is, man. So, let me tell you the funny thing about all these stories. And I'm gonna get a nigga some free game who really want to do some music shit. I ain't got too much games. This is all the game I could give. Look at this passive aggressive shit. But we niggas think cipher and they immediately think it's not real if niggas not rapping live on camera. Please tell them. And it's yeah, that could be real. But well, a lot of the cyphers that we did was based off say BET cyphers and shit like that. Man, that's a real studio production. Mm-hmm. Them niggas not doing one take raps in front of no cameras. It's not because nothing come out the right way. We ran it the right way. We had. It was you, you had a deadline to write your verse. Yep. Your verse had to be no longer than this. And I went past and that. And shout limit. out to Boo Milton because he used the entirety of the timeline. Me too. But you. All beat. You. <laughs> but oh, we oh, shut oh, up. Oh, it been two minutes? All right, my verse, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. So we got, I mean, we really, we spent time, we got the audio for everybody verses to yes, make sir. sure that we had clear, crisp and clear audio. Everybody was sent the same beat. Same beat. Same, same time. The exact same beat, same emails. How they, long it took me to give you that bit back? Shit, I think was you first. I was the first one sitting that whole back, I believe. It was why I, I tried to get everybody to go to Sam with Chris James, make sure everybody got the same, the same like. I want to talk about that like, too. Uh, time. Okay. Uh, I want, I want, I want a disciple who could say Sam who could copy Chris James. Okay, we are gonna get to that because that's huge. I feel like that need to be said. Yeah. We then turned around and we had a, a real video shoot like yes. a nigga would for any other music video. Yes, sir. We shot each group. We had a real DJ. We had a real DJ. Shout out to Kelly Green. Shout, Shout out, out Kelly. Kelly Green. We mm-hmm. had a real. We had a real video shoot. We shot each group what four or five times. Yep. And then we, and we had it edited. We up. We had real beef. Yeah. We had real beef. Show. Everything was authentic. Shout out. All right. So listen. Beef, listen, listen, it listen, was listen, really listen, listen. Quiet listen. on the set. Droop really a master mob because. At this time, it was kind of some tension between me and the artist. It was some tension. I'm going to say it was tension between me and Baron. And shout out, Baron, because we're good. And um, at that point, he Trilogy, put both right? of our verses back it. to back. To stir up some shit, you know what I'm saying? But it just made a better cipher. I'm gonna keep it. Damn, G- really fucking eight. I'm gonna keep it. G- I ain't organized the verses. Down. I ain't put the verses in order. Man, the yeah. person who put the verses in order in this room, though. Okay, but I ain't put them. The the, the, the producer put hey, that bitch me. in order. He I wasn't even one of us. Somebody that's off camera, off off audio as well. But um, so yeah, the cipher did his thing. But what um, after the cipher, it was great. We even had a diss cipher. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! We still don't know y'all. Fuck y'all niggas. We were told that we got money now. Y'all still don't. Stop, <laughs> man. Look, man, nigga y'all, be trying to I kill us. Just for this. I ain't fucking with y'all. We were told that y'all not. Hey, listen. <laughs> Hey, the funniest shit about we that. We sipping gold bottles, y'all sipping cool. This the cipher has so much beef with it internally. <laughs> it was I'm so talking much straight beef. internal. The day that that this cipher dropped, it was like niggas was like, "Hold the fuck up!" <laughs> Everybody joined together and was like, "Who the fuck are these like, niggas? Who are these niggas?" Cypher yeah, this nigga really had a this cipher. Drew better put his hand over my motherfucking mouth because it was I was I was on go. Y'all know I don't respond to shit like that. What's the funniest shit of the year? The cipher, y'all. That. that cipher was terrible, man. And they was just like they I'm was mad because they didn't get in. It was, the, it was they, got, they got a thousand views off working us working laughing at it. I'm I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm but we gonna but we gonna keep it. G. They turned around, they Listen. dropped the diss cipher, and then they didn't get the response they wanted. So they dropped a ten minute explanation of the diss cipher. Yes. The cameraman even confused. They dropped the 10 minute explanation of the diss cipher. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep it G. I know him. A lot of them went to McKinley with me. Nah. They said a lot of them went to McKinley. A lot of them went to McKinley with me. A lot of them went to McKinley with me. But it, it's a. That was purchasing. It was a wild Stop, time. Man. I told you. I'm gonna keep this bitch cheap. Stop. Damn. Stop, man. This dude's stupid as a bitch, bro. On the on real, real serious note, real, real serious note. Real serious note. R.I.P. Rasta, R.I.P. Chris. Yes, sir. They was part of that cypher. 
Ross was like a brother to me. They not here no more, but it's cool. Yes, sir. It's cool. R.I.P. to everybody, man. It it's, wasn't no, yeah. it wasn't no beef on it my It wasn't end. real beef, and they even said it in the explanation. They were just like, we just felt like we was underrated and we wanted to be heard. And I appreciate that. Look, I actually appreciate that this. It wasn't that it made any of us look better. It was just that they was that passionate and they felt like shit. We should have been in that bitch, and they stepped. I can't say that I, I wouldn't have did the same thing, but I definitely did something similar by telling you why I'm not yeah. on your shit. You know what I'm saying? If anything, so, it shines light on yeah. this. So Starving many artists. people putting in work or trying or thinking they are that's putting in work in the city and there's no there's no blueprint for anything. It's but not. there's nobody in the city that's able to be like, you not doing enough and your name whole weight. Yes. Right. If yo if somebody if there was anybody I mean like ATL got what, K? Like if you had somebody that could be like the measuring stick of like this is enough work to be yeah. to be considered that you missing out on something, be no in a total different place. There's no but it's all subjective. You got niggas that drop two songs and go, no offense to anybody that's only dropped two songs, but they go out and they be like, she, mm-hmm. I should be in this, I should be in that. And it's like, for what? You haven't done anything. And I think they get confused behind the amount of niggas like Kid Cudi, who they be like, drop one mixtape, then got famous. But these niggas put in work, work, work in other ways. You don't know that those yeah. mixtapes, those albums took years to be to be produced, to be wrote. I mean, you know, so like Drake, so far gone, wasn't just like, I did this shit this it year. It also like, wasn't it was his first mixtape. It was not. It was not. So the thing that comes with that is, because of course, we, y'all know we're going to educate y'all at the same time as we joke. Um, if you feel like I did this much, I've been doing it for this amount of time, that doesn't mean that you did enough. That don't mean that if you spent $1,000 on something that it's worth $1,000 in return or $2,000. You got to keep putting that work in, bro. Yeah, like Keep putting your thousands up. Man, man I'm going to keep them. it. I'm going to keep it, it all the way real. You could also be problem. doing all the work in the world, but that <laughs> yeah. don't mean a nigga want to work with you. And it can right. be a million reasons why a nigga don't work with you. Keeping it G. At one point, I didn't want to work with Perk. He did not. He was putting in work, and I just didn't want to work with him. Did that, not. That means nothing to his work ethic. I just, it wasn't my cup of tea at the time. And I, I'm, I'll be transparent about it because I wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to tell me all type of shit that I improved myself, but I wasn't fucking with that. Yeah. Like I said, that's made me work with artists now today in a different way. You know, because shit, I was a knucklehead at the same time too. Shout out to Chris James as well for putting me through boot camp. Oh. You feel me? We're going to get that up. Actually, oh, this oh. is next. Actually, this came next because what? We recorded 2014 after yeah. that. Did this cypher really put that together? Hey, yep. 2014 changed the whole way music sound right now. Nigga don't even know that, but go look that shit up. BCG, yes, stay gripping, whatever whatever it is. 2014. That it's shit on, changed the on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. It's still on SoundCloud. It's still on SoundCloud. I, I heard it earlier. You yeah. hear me? Look, the same way. Nigga be making them hits right now. This is what I be saying, though. That's why I be mad. We got like Jasmine dick. Farrell on that bitch. Yeah, Come on, man. Dick. Shut up, Jazz. They ride through. Mom, That's why yeah. I be mad like dick. Wait. All, all we had to do was just keep going. Everybody just had to keep going. Because the shit we was doing back in 2014, that shit shaped everything. How right. everything sound right now. Now, like, fuck everything. that. Because the city, a lot of people heard that bitch. Because yeah. it was jumping at that time. So let's talk about behind the scenes of 2014. Things that y'all did not know that, man, we did not sleep for about three days. I'm saying we made the whole tape in like three days. We didn't sleep in like three days. You had Chris James, you had Manny. Ew, shout out Manny. Look, look, you see Manny, he doing his thing over there. Shout out, hey, shout out to I'm Manny. Really to Come on, bro. Shout out really to Manny for real. It was legendary, Everybody bro. in the room, Jeremy, they really went out to go do Shout out to Manny. Things, like, shout out Manny, Everybody bro. doing their shit. Like, man, we came, say, like. we, 2014 was wild. We yes, got... Sir. We had a deadline to put it out by New Year's. Yo. I couldn't let January 1 go by without us yeah, putting it out. Yeah, I remember this. This shit was hard. Nigga, that cooking. We got cooking. Yeah. We were talking 12, 14 hours at a time. We yes. got two engineers in that bitch. At the same time. Manny was in the daycare. Me Manny. Manny, Manny the was in the, the daycare table. at the time. <laughs> at the little table Look making beats. Look at your beats. growth, my nigga. Huh? You had the studio in the daycare yeah. on the same side. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the, uh, off there on uh, Shenandoah. On Shenandoah. Yes, sir. We was chopping. Legendary. We was getting beats made in one, recording the other, go out if you need somewhere to write. Like, go was, off the smoke. I, a lot of them verses, wasn't, they wasn't thought about. It was We smoke, putting man. it down. Yeah, I was back when you was drug free. I wasn't, wasn't even smoking. I was drinking. Shout out to Dead Glass. And that was the time that I was smoking. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a long time. You got to light up some perks. I'm not. Like, smoke with me. Mm-mm. When? Smoke with me. We'll talk about it later. For the listeners that are in states where it is not legal, we are not advocates for marijuana. We're but not. if you are in a legal state, fuck it. I be getting low it. <laughs> stay there. So, yeah, man. So, anyways, yeah, we was running it like that, and that's how it wasn't really like, okay, this person is on this song, these three people on this song. It was like, shit, who got a verse? Man, it was, I'm saying, it was first come, first serve. First come, first serve. We got a beat with three slots. Who got a verse? Get on it. Yes, sir. The only thing that, that changed at the very last minute was same thing. Same thing. 
Same hey, but that's that, same. Thing. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Same thing is how a nigga record right now. The look, horns on that bitch were serious. When same thing, the, the, the when sent, that beat was crazy. When we sent same thing to the people that was put their verse on same thing, it didn't sound like that. It sounded like some whole other some shit. Whole Cause other nigga got to understand when I make my music, I make that bitch from the jump, like from the from the skeleton, from the dirt. Yes, sir. You heard me all the way to the end. So I might send you something. And they don't got the skin all the way on that bitch, here, but that bitch just might have the bones on it. It just might have a little structure. It ain't the, the final product, but I just need you to add what you add. You hear me? And then give it back give to me. Back and I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to do my did. I'm going to show you what really make me me. You hear me? Chris Giants, so what the fuck? when I had sent it off to everybody, ain't nobody was really feeling that bitch. You hear me? That mm -hmm. same thing. They wasn't feeling that bitch. But look. Add your shit. Let me see it back. Oh yeah, that's gold. I I, I see the gold new, even though you don't see the gold. No, new. niggas wasn't. Niggas same. ain't had no faith in same thing because that bitch was like you said. It was the skeleton. Was but yeah, after this skeleton. nigga dropped that first verse, nigga called me. He bro, nigga called me and said, "Hey, we gonna be late dropping." And I say, I said, "Come on, not the first take. Why?" And he said, "Just come by the studio." Cause it's pressure. And then Drew called me after he heard that bitch and say, "Son, come check this verse out." <laughs> Cause it's pressure. So I'm like, "Man, this nigga late again." Listen, if y'all don't know, this is a late motherfucker right here next to me. Chris James to is late. Day. To this day, he I was, was late. Surprised he was here before I was. Yeah, that nigga was late, but I'm surprised. Shout out to his uh his team because they made sure that he was here. You know. You see, I got your little drop. Look, I pointed out the camera. Damn. But, you know, this nigga's a late motherfucker. So if something come out late, it's because we was waiting on him. It's but, it's, it's, but it's always we genius, though. It's always it. worth it. We was getting it, it was, perfect. We was getting it. It, was, it had to be perfect. It was because it, it was, we, we would be going through it and it'd be like, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. This that was the start. He's smart with it though. He ain't that never been late for it. no reason. Cause we we walked in that bitch. He called me and I walked in that bitch. And he said, man, this why I was late. And all he played was the horns. And he knew he was going to get me because he played horns. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. Then bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that same thing. That these niggas is that bitch. Ooh, everybody hey, wanted that same thing actor. beat. Whoa, like, it's camera action. Everybody wanted that Keep same thing beat. We had like niggas out the woodworks was like put me on it. Everybody At one point, wanted the remix. We had a remix playing with like fourteen people Ooh, on that yes. bitch. Real niggas though. I heard yeah, Lee real niggas. Today. I heard Lee versus Lee, Lee. Lee Banks. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my big brother Lee Banks. Q like, sent us a verse. Shout out to Q. Yeah. Lee made my tape. Lee made yeah. the same thing. He uh, made he made promises. Yeah, he yes, made, he made promises. Yeah, I listened to it today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to the old Dream Team. Shout out Ashton Kid because they y'all did a Dream Team remix. They did a Dream Team remix. Oh, we did a Dream Team. That was good. Thing they beat it. They remix. But you know what was on every every mix had. Yo, same first verse on that bitch because that same first verse to this day is one of my favorite Chris James oh, verses. That, that bitch was serious. I'm, I'm, it's not my favorite. That bitch. We're going to get to my favorite I later. I don't even know. I was listening to Promises on the way here. I, I know my favorite. my favorite. And hey, look, hey, if anybody, because I look, I be telling my people this shit. I want to tell y'all this shit too. You hear me? Bam. That right there was a time as far as artist wise. That nigga was the sickest. I was in one of them. They was the sickest in the city. I'm gonna keep. And it was back. a reason why I was in one of them zones. See, right now I ain't all that shit I've been dropping right now. I ain't never been back in that little zone. Droop, you know me. You know when I come with that shit, I'm shutting down everything. Yeah, we ain't record nobody. Yeah, engineer who? Yeah, Chris. Yeah, James Chris James engineer. Yeah, it's, it's Chris James engineer who? shut down. It's close. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't doing no. We ain't doing no engineering. We ain't doing no beats. He ain't been like that in a minute. All that two list, man, he ain't been like that in rap a minute. Mode. So that's what I'm trying to tell a nigga. See that? See now that rich off rap shit? Man, <laughs> oh my soul. That rich off rap shit, nigga. That bitch ain't time. hard unless you was up in the uh in the road when you was recording. Nigga, ooh, <laughs> on my soul. And I got a new road. That bitch all black from the Renaissance Hotel. I stole that bitch. Like, oh hey, my this bitch God. Gonna be a good yeah. Rich off rap shit. From the Renaissance right now, <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. I, 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 right say, yeah, I feel this vibe because it's you know some Renaissance shit, it's some rich shit. So I say, yeah, let me take Come this bitch. On. And then as I think about it, that <laughs> bitch got a that bitch got a big R on the back right there by my neck, right yeah. there. Yeah, what that R for? What, what that, that R for? Stand for? Rich on the nigga. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah, when a nigga ain't never touched that zone, but that's what I'm trying to tell a nigga that rich out rap shit. That shit gonna be so crucial. Cause look, guess what I did? I done shut down shop. Yeah, I ain't recording nobody right now. Okay. Uh, man, yeah, okay. Look, when this nigga shut the studio all down, is, all, everything is for Chris. Stop banging, that, my nigga. Stop banging. My bad. But go do your thing. All that, look, because I be on my body. But look, all that two lit shit, all that, everything y'all done heard, that's under a nigga with. We just doing that for fun. You heard me? Too lit, I had smoked the blunt of all oh, moon rocks. Yeah, we ain't cutting it with nothing. We smoking straight moon rock. You heard me? I had just got out of my body, and guess what? The first thing that came out of my mouth was what? Too fucking lit. Yo. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, bam. And that was the hook. You hear that bitch? If you listen to the song, you hear nigga with the grind in the background. You hear nigga clicking that bitch. You hear because the moon rocks wasn't coming out. The moon rocks wasn't coming out. The moon rocks wasn't coming out the grind. And we try to grind the moon rocks. Oh, my soul. Ask Junior if you think a nigga stunned. You heard me? The moon rocks wasn't coming out the grind. So if you listen to Too Legit, you hear nigga clicking that bitch because we were too out of body in that bitch. Come on. That's what I'm saying. All that shit, we just fun. We were just telling the truth. Y'all like a nigga music because we were just telling the truth. But now y'all giving a nigga time to really get back in that in 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 booth. Y'all giving a nigga time to get back in that thing and really mm. construct that after shit. After you've been in that world, too. After you've been in that world. After you've been in that world. And after y'all to show me that y'all like all the shit a nigga be knowing, man. It's all, it's all type of shit. Nigga so, wait. Niggas talked about music being the truth. I still think my favorite project was Go With Your Move, that first yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, all authentic. You hear me? Okay, <laughs> that was wild. Talk Let's about talk nigga, about this. Hold Up. Go ahead, run out here. Because I want to tell the nigga, because look, I'm about to tell y'all, this is why y'all need to understand that these conversations is important. And when we say, like, we was really doing this shit back we then, really and we was really the, city, the only bro. niggas doing this shit, we was really the only niggas doing this shit. Yeah, nigga, have you ever made an acronym? I'm saying that acronym, have you that ever whole made hashtag. An and it's standing strong yeah. to this day. No, niggas is using it to this day. You know, like an LOL? Yeah, have you ever made a a a, a, a L L M A O? Have you said that shit? Yeah, said? that go with your move shit. On oh my soul, we do that. Am I, if I'm lying, I'm fucking dying, dying my nigga. nigga. On oh my soul, we tweeting W Y N whatever the go with your move hashtag. Oh. Niggas on that bitch. How, what's that? Yeah, yeah. yeah you heard yeah. like like Boosie say on that song. Yeah, nigga. What's that? Like, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pull up in the bag. Yeah. Nigga think I'm in the station. Yeah. Like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga pull up, nigga, we on Twitter. Yeah. Man, nigga see that WYGM like, what's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, that's that. Go with your moves. And niggas is using it to this day. Stop playing to this day like this this motherfucking KLM killing myself laughing at some shit. Oh, yeah. 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 So. <laughs> man, on, y'all bro. real trendsetter. Y'all taking me out of the house, bro. Real oh. trendsetter shit, Jeremy. We man. gonna keep that shit on the cool. That's what I'm trying to let a nigga know. This rich out rap shit. Next level droop. You gotta come back out with some state grip and shit just for the culture. Come on, bro. Come just on, man. For the Can we have one conversation Perp. without somebody trying that. to get me to drop something? Perp, we need some. I'm gonna throw you a whole show, my nigga. It ain't nothing but a G thing. For the culture. Just to let a nigga know we still doing this shit and we still capable of doing this shit and not to play with us. Because, like I say, the only reason why. Man, look. Like I, I told y'all, this the big three, bitch. baby. This the big three. You know, shit. Back when when LeBron and 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 Melo and Wade was all in the USA team, bro, this is the big three. We did our shit around that time. That mean, I, go with your move. So like, go with your move was running, running about go with your move. We what we, what we so we like was recording said, something different. I think we was, we was working on brothers at the time. We, yeah, yeah, we were working on brothers. We was, shout out, we was all in the yeah. shout out to BC and AB again. We was all in the studio. We was all single. Everybody, we, everybody, uh, was, everybody was single. single. Oh, oh, everybody was single. It was crazy, nigga. So we we started so with the go with your move acronym we we started a game on Twitter, and the thing was we had go with your move hours. Okay. Now and still to this day it's still your go with your move hours. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Niggas still going with they move at these hours. So it was like from what time it was? It, the whole thing went from like what one to five, one or something like a.m. to yeah. five. And we had like certain shit you could do within certain groups. When, so, when Perk dropped the song, podcast, I'm going to send him the, the flyer. He can post retarded. that bitch. I just Straight tweeted up. that bitch a couple days ago. Straight up. I'm going to use that as the flyer for the um, episode. And that bitch really had got big, though. Hey, that bitch got big. I know that people that still together big. from that bitch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That shit started. That still. So that basically, what we would do playing. was it was no subtweeting. It was no being passive. It was none of that. You going with your move on the timeline. You mentioning the woman or you mentioning the guy that you wanted and you was like, hey, what's happening? And I ain't gonna stun. If I want my move on you, you heard me? Ask Drew. I've been plotting on you for, for a minute. So it was really a game, but we was really, <laughs> was really going with our move on our target, Jerry. So like, yeah, ha ha jokes on y'all. Because we uh, started this whole thing and had everybody in Baton Rouge playing this game, but we was the only really person that couldn't play was Jason, but that's public knowledge by now. Jason, don't shoot at Jason. Yeah, don't we shoot at that. Thing. To this day. To this day. To this to day. This day. <laughs> to this day. So eventually, what that did, that turned into a mixtape of its own. We had what five tracks on that one. Yeah, it's crazy because people still think that we started the game as a, like a promo scheme for the mixtape. No, real shit. The mixtape came from the from the game, and it was all love songs. All love songs on some shit dropped on Valentine's Day. No, mm-hmm. yeah, the second one dropped on Valentine's the first one did too. Day. True, Shout on out. Valentine's sure Day did, and I actually had two tracks on that one. That's very okay, rare. Now you said no names, damn man. Say some names. Fuck it. I was about to talk about who my main shot was on uh, the Go With Your Move thing, but if you I'm about pussy. that, if you about that, like, look, yo, 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 PR is telling you to say it. Fuck it. Uh, she said, say Run it. it. 
It's she gonna be good it. for publicity, huh? She said, she run, said it. run it. <laughs> Fucking niggas. I ain't, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say no name. Man, you done did all that and not say the name. Say name. Say if you plead the fifth, you gotta kill the rest of your drink. Stop that. <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I don't know which one's the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so. I'm about to go. He said stop playing. Nah, we dropped, we dropped five tracks on that bitch. Uh, <laughs> and it was all hookup songs. The intro. We had the intro. I was on the intro. You was on the intro. Me and uh, Kid. Shout out Kid, Kid was on the intro. Shout out to Kid. Kid ate that bitch. And we had DJ Ray Nash shit. Shout out DJ Ray Nasty on that house. That's what I'm house. saying. We need yes, another kid. Kid dropped, wrote that verse in about 30 minutes flat. Wait, we did. And then got up and killed that bitch. Look here with that friend. Look at him. 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 I ain't even yeah, seen him. Oh. Shout out Kid. Search Kid for real on Apple Music. Yes, sir. That new shit on the way. You hear me? Man, he ain't his shit. Then we, we had Ain't Shit. Ain't Shit ain't was shit. my favorite track off that bitch. That bitch pressure. was pressure. Shout out Good CAB. Pressure. A- ain't shit was so good, Damn. and Sam lost the final version. Say, I got him. He had a bridge on that bitch and lost it. Oh, oh ain't shit. Drew, why you be remembering this crazy ass shit? Because I wanted it. Fuck. That bridge was legendary. But look, this is what I really want to do. Hey, because look, this is what I'm saying. It's serious right now. Like, It's serious. I won't really come back like in probably a couple months. Baton Rouge, y'all, the music scene, we don't have nothing to worry about. We good, yeah. I'm Drew, about to come back and I'm about to bless the whole city. Drew not gonna be in town, so I'm gonna be the Drew for this one. We gonna be, you gonna be the Drew, but look, Drew, when I make enough money, y'all know, see, where I'm know gonna look, be. cause look, y'all gotta understand this about Mr. Darius Allen right here. Boo, he, uh, look, yes sir. I already bred it. You hear huh? me? We so look, I, done, going. I done already, you know, I done already plotted out the mission, cause look, I already see how this shit gotta go. Mm-hmm. When we did this 2014 shit, that's what I'm saying. Which I don't know, that shit really shaped the way how BR music shot, I'm sound keep right now. So I done already plotted, like, all right, look, Droop already making this much money, so I gotta come with Droop with about two M's, <laughs> two three M's to make him quit his shit. You hear me? So <laughs> he said, that. "Yeah, make a quick <laughs> shit. Gotta come here about two, three m. Hey, real shit. This ain't the first time he ran this to me. So, <laughs> give me about, give me about a year. I'm gonna come a year, eight months. I'm coming to you with my two, three m's, and then we're gonna have Drew quitting, and then we're gonna turn the whole rack up. We already hear me. We're that's gonna, gonna have be Baton crazy. Rouge, like Atlanta. You hear me? That's but gonna be crazy. I need that's all my need, people man. to really get on the." I mean, shit. Yeah, after, after, ain't shit. After, uh, go with your moves, Rob. How many niggas was in the studio trying to get their dream team sound? Man, look. Okay, so let's talk about the dream team sound. The dream because team wait, sound the f- is the whole Ooh, rap wait. game. Wait, 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 my favorite song by a long shot was Don't say Lovers and Friends. Fuck no. Lovers and Friends was pressure too though. Lovers and Shout out Dream Team, pressure. all right? Lovers but thinking about you? Oh. Ooh. Stop playing. Stop playing. So thinking about you was Chris James. Oh, D Boo. D Boo! My dog Ashton Martin over Ooh. there. And my dog Kid. And it was crazy. To this day, that was the first song that I heard out of Baton Rouge that sounded industry to me. That's the first song I'm about to play when I get back in my bins. Come on, bro. On my soul. The that video still on up, YouTube? Man. That turned me up. That turned me up. <laughs> Listen, so everybody wanted to get that Dream Team sound, and I was officially in the Dream Team boot camp, and that helped me learn how to structure music and everything and stuff like that. So everybody that I'm working with right now musically, this is the man right here that you give the credit to, you know what I'm saying? Because he put me through boot camp. You know, music boot camp. But now I put sh- Donacy, shout out Donacy. Donacy is a musical boot camp right now. And it's the exact same one I went through before singer. That's you know what I'm saying? saying. All so, these type people, because you just bringing back names to my head. Like all these people, I want to come back when I get a little come more. Come on, money. man. I just need a little more money. Look, we need mm-hmm. we rich off rap right now, but I got to get a little more richer off rap. And then that's what I'm going to come back to this bitch and really get to. Yeah, all these people who really deserve it, y'all just keep going. No, keep pushing, shit, man. This ain't keep pushing. Man, y'all keep going. Please keep going. So when I'm able to come back and dip back in here, mm-hmm. y'all just doing y'all shit. But I promise you, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm coming back for sure. And man, we have a strict no name policy on my show, man. But we dropping all these names because it's serious this time, and I'm not bleeping the motherfucker. And it's thing, love y'all. on it's, everybody because it's all love, and everybody's been hustling, my nigga. And if y'all stop hustling because y'all feel like y'all didn't have it, stop. Hold on. We didn't mention in the second cipher, uh, part two. Cypher, D Lane. Forgot about D Lane. Man, I ain't never forgot about D Lane. We, we ain't say it's night. We did not. 
I, I did. I mentioned D when you I was naming everybody. Well, but shout out to D Lane. D Lane. D Lane, a lawyer now. D Lane was the best. D Lane, a lawyer now. No, that nigga was the sickest. Oh, yeah. he was the okay, sickest. Shout out D Lane. So yeah. So then after go with your move, we're gonna fast forward a little bit to the next thing we worked on was promises. The best mixtape came out of Baton Rouge, Jamaica. It's crazy. We was it's we had so much up. structure back then. It's a toss up. Think about how think about how professional we was back then, though. You that know what I'm saying? That, but that's think crazy. about the the studio and first, think about the dry erase. First board. thing I did was when they bought the dry erase board. I need to hey, this is what I gotta realize. Board. I don't think nigga ever realized you know how much really promises made a staple on 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 the culture. Cause really I wasn't really seeing that shit back in the gap, but now mm -hmm. I see to this day. Like niggas will come to up to me day. they'll be like, hey, yeah, that Purple City. Like, nigga, don't say the name Promises because yeah. that bitch wasn't bald enough. But nigga be like, yeah, that little Purple City. Yeah, you did your shit on that little Purple City. Took marketing to a different level on that one. Shout out Drew. Shout out Drew. Shout out Drew. Hey, Drew. That's what I'm saying. This nigga be playing Drew. passive like he ain't doing shit in the city. Drew, put Drew a changed the game with the marketing. Drew put a nigga shit. on that XO shit. Come on, man. You put a nigga on the XO shit. South by Southwest is at that time. On the XO shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? South like, by. that made everything more official. That's what things started to get official. Droop bought a whole dry erase board to put inside the studio I need because, to write. you know, Mr. Late is also unstructured. So <laughs> he's just getting the studio at work. So and Droop created that structure. Day. So if you ever listen to Promises, bro, like, the, the amount of background work that you wouldn't even think about was crazy. Again, he had the roll bone. Shut the studio down. Nobody could record. The homies couldn't record. I couldn't record. Nobody. He was not taking money. At this time, you wasn't even working. I ain't even working. So nigga was not Straight taking music. no... Come on, you man. season. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was wild. <laughs> we used so, to... We, we, would, we would plan out every aspect of a tape from a drop schedule to a marketing schedule. How many no. songs go on it? How many of what type of songs go on it? Sam, you know I already recorded five girl songs. That's too many. It turned into a girl tape. Hello. Let's take that back. Listen, Don's going to hear this and she's going to be like, money. oh my God. She's going to no be like, money. oh my God, because I'm on her ass the same way. With no money, you hear me? But now nah, that's what I'm trying to get. We in the yo till four and I got work at eight in the morning. What? It, it was wild. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the studio in my work clothes. You I'm know what I'm saying? Helping out for going in the back work. of the car. Come on, bro. It was crazy. So let's break it down. So like I said earlier, I ain't gonna get to my favorite verse. My favorite verse was the first song on the CD. But if you listen to Apple Music, it's not the first track because the first track is the intro. And nigga really did nothing on the intro. You know, it was a couple oh. like 30 seconds. But I got it as my I got favorite it. verse. What? Okay, okay. What? Hey, that's a good one. That's what I'm what? saying. That's one of them bitches when I really tapped into. Oh, when I really tapped into. Man. Okay, let me sit down and really not play with these dudes. Like, that bitch came on shuffle up. today. I just this had to take one while I was here. Nigga. That I got it, Chris James on Promises, number two. Yeah, that's Come one on, of the bitches. I'm like, okay, yeah, let me, let me not play with Come you. on, bro. Once I get back into that into that little Man, let me, space for that Rich Out Rap shit, I'm almost close I need all y'all to appreciate okay. that Promises on Apple Music. Actually. I begged him to put that shit on the internet when it came out. Shout out, Drew. I wanted that bitch everywhere. And shout out, Drew, because that shit didn't pay a couple of light bills. Shout out. That Promises shit. Actually, I think I put that. I actually used that on my story. Actually, on my way in. That bitch didn't pay a couple life. Yeah. Stop playing. Stop, Stop playing. playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. And um, really, I just want to take this time to appreciate that album. So I'm gonna go down the track list, right? So let me look at this track list because every song was actually monumental while we was creating it, bro. Everything mm -hmm. had a, a, a different purpose. And I could tell a story about all that shit. Every song had a different purpose. I got a I got a story for damn near every song. See, that's why I'm in that rack right now for that rich y'all rap shit. I feel like man, you look, gotta go back home. I need that energy. Home. I need this energy. I could have been in Houston. I could have been in LA. I could have been anywhere right now. On my soul, I could have been anywhere. Humble right flex. Now. I feel you. On everything I love. A humble flex. But I had to be in BR. Y'all niggas had, is stunting on me because I'm still in Baton Rouge and y'all out of here. I had to be in BR. I had to live like this. I had to feel this so I could make that shit that I needed to make. You heard me? On yes, everything. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That shit about to be. Track three. Track three was teared up. Tear it up 2.0. That was that BR That was the club banger. That was tear it up 2.0. That was the club banger. Rap on my song. Niggas, on yes. <laughs> you got tear it up part two on that? Tear it up 2.0 on the way. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Six shit. This. Okay. So track four with Don't Trip. Oh, that was my best song I ever made. That, Stop playing. No, it's not. I, 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 I to the peoples. No. Not according to Perk, but according to <laughs> <laughs> Just from what I be hearing, to what most people say. Okay. Your next song, your best song is the next song. 
I mean, I can say name a song that's better than that song, and it's your oh, next song. All on you. Hold on. Let's talk about. Let's talk I about. I cried when I made Don't Trip. Let's talk about Don't Trip. So a nigga made, don't, made trip, don't Trip, and at this point, when I was writing it, I mean, I, I was crying. At this point, nigga oh pulled the sample out of nowhere. Pulled the sample out of Lady Gaga. I probably was in like a uh, a Foot Locker or a motherfucking uh, J C Penney's or some shit, and that bitch was playing on the. Uh, Stop playing. Look how nigga discredited me. I uh, I offered you that one. <laughs> well, uh, nigga, nigga just scared to be that quick. Lady Gaga? Yeah, yeah. That's the applause. Yeah. Nah, perfect. I ain't gonna stand. I think I heard that bitch in one of them grocery stores. You probably revisited that bitch. But and look, you I did you did it. Nah, go ahead. I think I was in one of them grocery stores. I think that bitch was playing off one of them grocery stores. Cause that's how I get a lot of my ideas. I'd be in like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or something. I'd be cooking, you know, fixing up my legumbo or waiting on my one of my juices. And then you know the music get to play some white people shit. And I'd be like, okay, yeah. I'll oh, okay, you can't, 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 can't say it like that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that go. But it is Juneteenth, <laughs> so <laughs> you know. So next song, all on you. So all you feel you. like don't trip is better than all on you? That's I missing a like line too. I get what you say. That's miss, it's missing a line. Yeah, it is missing a line. Don't trip is probably the most honest I ever got. All on you. He cried on that bitch too. I ain't crying all on you. Drew, all on, all on you. I'm on that bitch like I'm oh, shit on her. God knew I was retarded until it got to that last verse. Cause I'm like, yeah, and he I'm was shitting on her hand. until she DM'd him on Instagram. Huh? He was shitting on her until she, she DM'd him that? on Instagram. May I heard the song about me? Ah, <laughs> look, nigga got soft so then. <laughs> look, that rich out rap shit is gonna be by my other thing. You oh. hear me? Oh man, it's gonna be my it's. It's gonna be my other thing, but we ain't tripping on that. Shout out Rich on Rap. We're gonna do shout out Rich on Rap every time he mentions Rich on Rap. Rich on Rap, that bitch gonna be it's gonna be pressure. Off. I'm sorry, I said um. Rich on Rap, we 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 keeping it all the way true. Look, your publicist got on my fucking ass just now. She said on, um. <laughs> <laughs> off, <laughs> not on. Um. Okay, my bad. I we apologize. keeping it all the way truthful. We ain't doing no lying. We ain't doing no sugarcoating. We going all the way. Lie. So Mike checks next. Mike check. Check. We on, we I, on. I love Mike Check. Shout out that video. Shout out Drew for sending the video. Check. That video was pressure. I think I remember Dundee. He dropped his fucking. Dundee dropped his gun. <laughs> he dropped the gun. Dundee dropped his gun. Yeah, we kept the oh, footage in the video. Yeah. 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 He it's in the, the video. video. Yeah, that's Damn, that's like the only video that I'm in in the whole city. the only city. video I'm in. Nah, look, Shit, gotta, yeah, both of us. Perfect, gotta get on the new videos. Man, you ain't inviting me out to them bitches. If I, you sh- let me know. Perfect, you gotta come to the new videos. Perfect, we on a different level. Right now. Man, let me know, man. Like, let me know. We're bringing bel to the old thing. Ooh. After mic check, you're slipping. After mic check, you're slipping. You won't catch me? That the was best recorded snippet, in the hotel. The best interlude I ever heard. You won't catch me slipping? Pull up to the club, hop out, jump. Go straight to, to the, the VIP. How about go straight to the VIP? You, you ain't, ain't putting put it on, on this bottle, bottle baby. Don't you take yourself. Sell. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No cap. Yes, bitch, move your lips. If I ever shot a commercial for the clothing line, Slipping. that's it. it that bitch, move your lips. You ain't putting it on this bottle, ho. You ain't. The fuck wrong with you, ho? That's that shit that I be talking Stupid about. Ass. These. What is that's that? That shit that I be talking about. These bitches make me sick. But, but you, you know, know I play it cool. cool. I don't stress it now. <laughs> See, I came in with the team. Man, we fresh and tender. Hey, bitch. Hey, Come on, man. Right? And you said no clapping on tables. Because guess what? If you keep me going, I'm going to be stopping and clapping on tables. I'll keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. You can go into the end of this verse. You can go into the end of this verse. I'm with my team. Man. Yeah, stop playing. Man. Come on, man. I don't want to do it. So, anyways, after that, we're going to skip a few songs. Yeah, what's after after sleeping Island Plantation? Island Plantation. That was the original. True story. Okay. Man. Let's turn it. Just go let's just turn that. the mic on. Oh. Listen, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. True. Look, 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 look. If you're embarrassed, all we can say is, true story. Go listen to that bitch. We ain't just rapping on that motherfucker. But at the end of the day, get your hoe, man. Get your bitch. What's the next song? After that came same thing with featuring Lee Banks, which Lee towed that verse up. Lee that hey, Lee, up. one of the only features I ever did, and I might respect him to this day. Here because Sam's that. second verse was lit too. He had to add that. Bit. He had to add to that second verse. Now he had to add that second verse. Then I'm ready came after that, which was a wonderful fucking That's a wonderful wonderful woman song. song. That was just one of them. That's a great song. You heard Girl, me know Beethoven. I want to say Beethoven right now. Yes, sir. No need for the hands. We don't give a fuck. Shout out, kid. Shout out Kid. Kid was on that bitch. My dog Kid was on that host. Smash that. I'm ready. Came after that. No, I'm sorry. I said that already. I mean that came after that. I, I mean, mean that probably that. was the weakest on the on the album. Oh, but I mean, oh. I lied. Count on me was, which is next. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you can't say that. Okay, I'm about to tell you about both of them. 
I mean that that bitch is probably the truest on the album. Yes, sir. That bitch came from a true place, so I guess that's probably why I put that bitch on there because I knew like, okay, yeah, that bitch. I'm telling the truth on that bitch. Cause I was really talking about one of my peoples. Yeah. Bam, and then count on you, the same thing. Like, all right, bam, you probably ain't relate to count on you, but I ain't gonna lie. Cause count on you when I'm writing that bitch. If you listen to count on you, nah, I listen. I'm, I was there when you wrote count on you. I'm count speaking you was... some real shit. You probably was there when I wrote part of that bitch. But another part of that bitch, I was in my feelings on that bitch, because that's what I'm talking about. My mom. Your mom's. Yeah, 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 yeah I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was all of me and you that day. Probably on some so. shit. I'm probably. not capping. Okay, yeah, probably so. Bam. But I know what that was one of the bitches I got in my feelings while I'm writing that bitch. And a lot of people tell you, like, bam, while they listen to that bitch, they cry. But that's when I learned, like, okay, whatever emotion you really feeling, because I cried when I was writing that shit. Whatever emotion you really feeling, you put that shit on the mic. That's what. Sh- that's the same energy that transferred through the mic into other people. Other people. Into other yeah. people. All the shit that I cried on, all the shit that I put my most pain in, that's the shit that the people be most receptive be, to. They, because yeah, it, 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 it hits home. Shit. It's kind of like a trauma, but it's not trauma. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it, it sends a trigger through you to where I feel familiar to this, right, 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 and that right, makes right, you right, right. more attached that's to what, it. That's why music yes, sir. is what it is. When they could relate to your shit, I'm gonna give you a crazy high really, take. Feel how you felt. Knowing yeah, that, take. it's a lot. It's why you find rappers that translate into acting so well. Because mm-hmm. when your music gets away from being so true, you still need to find a way to convey them feelings into other people. Yes, you sir. have to make them feel like this is a sad song, even if you ain't go Character through it. Character analysis. So you now you can turn character. around and go into acting mm-hmm. like an Ice Cube, but like an Ice T. Yep. Like niggas that rap for so long, and it was like you can't still be rapping about street shit. Come on, dog. You've been rich for ten years. Yep. Right. But it's like now nah, they could they could do the same thing on the screen because they had to practice so long to get that through to you on music. Man, let's talk about some gangster shit. Let's talk about some real shit. What up? Okay. What up? Well, the last song was Ben. Shout out Aston Martin. And that bitch was hard, too. Ben, man. What's some real shit? Let's talk we about We was going to shoot a video to that I bitch sh- with Scottleville Ben. I'm just saying, you hear me, right? What? I'm just trying to get it. You hear me? Get the people what they want. Get the people what they want. What's happening? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, perp. Look. I just want to get the people what they want. You hear me? That's what they want. Let's do it like this, then. It's, we clearly been doing this for a little minute. Okay. Yeah. There was some... Some gaps and some timelines, and we left a lot of shit out. We could be talking for hours. Yeah, we could be talking for a lot for hours, but I feel like that's for us. But we—that is, like, hey, no, no, is for no, us. And no, 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 no. But whatever. How long we been in this? An hour, forty-five minutes, whatever. Y'all see at the bottom of y'all YouTube screen. We, that's how long we've been in it. But look, now we gotta switch to some shit to uh, it's for everybody. For everybody, could you know really? Yeah. Hold on, we got. Hold on, we got one more. We got one more point in that timeline. Do you did it? We got the. We got the FKD K, FKOD cipher. Monumentic. Shout out to okay. Pula again. Shout out Pula. Because at Necessary. this time, at this time, I I'm stopped I'm not sure rapping. monumentic what was is that? a word. 2017. But you know, y'all know what he meant, though. 17, 2016, 17. I was done rapping at this point. Yeah, yes. I was about to move. Now, one thing I can say about this one was, we was turned. You hear me? Me and you, pull, I, I pulled up to your crib. I pulled up to your crib. No Listen, mind. So remember earlier in this episode, I spoke about how when this nigga get in rapper mode, he get into that polo motherfucking robe. That yeah. same robe oh, was the same. Name, that nigga, bitch. that was the same robe I wore to the cypher. Yeah. So if you want to talk about Space Jail, my nigga, if you want to talk about Space Jail. Calm down. I snap. I snap because of that. I still got a motherfucking robe right now to this day with the matching drawers. Stop Listen, playing with me. That's probably with the matching polo drawers. What that's up? probably the best thing. That's probably the best spit that I spit because that one was natural as fuck. Mm-hmm. And you was really feeling that bitch. I was feeling that bitch. I felt me, myself turning you wasn't up. Playing with them bitches. I wasn't you playing. That thing but I think it was stepped. the power of the robe, my nigga. That was the same robe you rode through in promises. Yeah. yeah. Right? For real, for real. Shout <laughs> out to Pula. Step. Shout you out step. Pula, man. You the step. the you thing step. I want everybody to know about these ciphers. It's a fun competition. Niggas like to compete. But the end of the day, it it's really a brought a lot of niggas together. Yeah. Like, it's niggas. So, we Drew, work with different. Another one. Come on, bro. Next next topic. Next no, topic. Why you don't want to do another one? Next, next topic. Why you don't want to do another one? We got callers or something to take. Why we you could. don't want to do another one? You can answer that question. You do know. another one, I'll spit on that hoe. It's one, it requires a lot of work. Y'all know I'm a perfectionist. And I don't like doing shit that's. Excuses. No, no, you no, because no, we ran this. We ran this. It's, 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 nah, we ran it too. Shit. It's, if I did another cipher and it was the same as the last cipher, I wasted my time doing this one. But Facts. guess what? I need nah. to do something. I need to do something to bigger. set that bitch different than the last one. And if I can't do it the way I want to do it, it's not worth doing. I told both y'all how I want to do it. I already know. But if I can't do it. do it, if I can't do something different than a, a stage video that looks good as a good production. If I can't do a real production, it's not worth it. Okay. One day I probably will do another one, but it 
I just need it to be bigger than the last one. You work around too much technology to not even have that be possible. I guess, I guess. I, I know guess. how to do it. It's just, it, is it worth the work? Yes, yeah, it is worth the work, I think. It's worth and it. And Chris Jane's sponsoring it. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. I'm, I ain't going to push it on your brain right now. Because <laughs> I see sponsored. where you're headed. But in about four years, <laughs> when the we, doing, cool. <laughs> we doing another cycle. Yeah. On God. And that bitch going to be legendary. On God. Okay. Yeah. There'll, there'll be another one at some point. Well, that's gonna be the next time I rap. Until then. No, see, cause per this this too. Fuck it. No, cause I like your podcast too. I like your podcast. So I can't yeah. do both. Yeah, focus, focus, focus on whatever you feel like you should be called to, but do your podcast too. But look, I feel like you gonna you need to spit your bars too. You gotta you gotta be clear with him. Which y'all remember, like? y'all remember who is Chris James? Which <laughs> which listen twenty twenty. True story. Who is Chris James? We couldn't find this nigga. He wasn't answering his phone. He wasn't answering the studio door either. Because to... I wasn't done. I'm a last minute nigga. <laughs> he told us, all right, story behind who is Chris James. He told us that he was ready to drop Promises. And he said, I'm dropping it this Saturday. I promise. And shit, we waited a little bit, but he didn't come with that hoe. So what we had to do was. I'm gonna keep they held it down. They, they, they made a little campaign here and that. That, that, that. Shout out Drew again. My my heart goes out to anybody who is doing PR for Chris James. <laughs> you will always get a curveball thrown at you. It's going to keep you on your toes. Oh, but my heart balls. goes out to them. Curveballs as high as go down. Huh? Curveballs going to get thrown. We supposed to drop uh, promises. He go missing because he not done. Ain't responding to texts. Ain't answering no calls. So we just pull up at the studio. He there. We just pull up. We get in. He sit us down and he go, I ain't ready. The tape not done. Well, how much more you got to do, Sam? Shit. It's going to be a couple hours. <laughs> so we got to figure out how to fill the time. So it was fun at first. We hit the, the Where's Chris James. We had wanted posters. Had the man on a milk carton. We had it all. We had the whole timeline in on it. Yep. Still didn't drop. But Graydon's always takes some fucking time. It's though. just something about my shit. I don't know. I can't explain it. I ain't like these other niggas. You hear me? These other niggas could do this shit that y'all that 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 you know that the internet used to send and that y'all used to send because they came up on a different system. I came up on right. another system. You hear me? Yeah, that's what the main thing is. But we ain't tripping. We ain't making no excuses. You hear me? I'm gonna show a nigga I'm really the sickest. However y'all want to see that shit, however y'all want to play that shit, I'm gonna show a nigga how it's we coming. We getting videos? I, I, psh, stop playing. Look, I you see know how I feel about a good video. I see, I see little ass in the background. I see DC in the background. I see Junior in the background. You remember? They out they buy this right now because they know, they know what what this shit, how this shit really go. You hear me? Bam, they know how this shit really is, and they know how this shit really, how we really construct this shit for the city. For BR, for Baton Rouge, 225, Jigga City, all that shit, that wreck. The wreck. Bam. <laughs> yeah, that wreck. Mm -hmm. They right. know how that shit really go. So I'm going to do this. Rich Off Rap is real facts. Real facts. How you got there? How I got there? You Rich Off Rap. Just. I got there by you? not stopping. I got there by keep going. Fuck Better. what a nigga ever got to say. Fuck whatever nigga, gotta, whatever nigga opinion is about me. I got there by not stopping. And yeah, I really got Rich Off Rap. I really got a whole lot of money off of just rapping. Straight off of up. just making music, yeah, that Fruity Loop shit that you be playing on every morning, yeah, I kept playing on that bitch every morning. Come and on, I really man. got a whole bunch of money out there. Nigga shit. taught yeah. me Fruity Loops. On my soul, look, not even on no arrogant shit. I just speak facts right now. Yeah, look, I don't have a job. I never had a job in about eight years. I think, I think your last job. I ain't gonna was... say eight. Yeah, that's. The... <laughs> I know your la your last job. I know <laughs> what your last job, job. My was. last job was Costco, right there off of Airline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highway. You heard me? That was my last job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I quit. No, no, no. I ain't quit that bitch. I got fired from that bitch. <laughs> yeah, and I never stopped. Why you got fucked? Ch being late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I never went back to another job after I that. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Ah. I, that shit just never set right for me. It just never set right for me. You Yo, listen. How on. you gonna tell me what time I gotta be here? I got I make my own schedule. I got shit to do. No, nah, this nigga's serious. Nigga used to work for me at Smoothie King and I used to <laughs> 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 nigga say, oh, oh, nigga oh, say oh, I forgot. Nigga say, now listen. Shout out, kid. Shout out, shut up. Shout out, hey, listen. Burke. Listen, baby. Burke was look, my supervisor at Smooth the Kid. Look, I employed the whole city and y'all little brothers and sisters. You dig me? Shout out, kid. Kid was the assistant manager at the store, Burke too. Did he give a fuck about not being late? Burke no. Burke 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 Burke
still was, I was late. Late at the bitch every day, but I just I don't know. It, my brain be somewhere. Even right now, my brain just a whole in a whole another <laughs> place. My brain just never be where where y'all should be. My brain don't be the you hear me. So it just be a whole another thing. But, You're a whole different animal, man. That's the mamba mentality. But that that's what I'm saying. Look, that rich I rap shit. The shit that we've been doing, man. That shit. <sighs> A lot got you here. It's re it's really wild. You went missing for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was a couple months where you was missing off everything. You pop back up. That's yeah. when I'm doing my engineer shit. You had the Chris James with the K. That's when I'm doing. Okay, wait. So we never got to talk about who can call you Sam, who can call you Chris James. So look, bam, out the gate. Excuse me. Anybody I knew before, look, we're gonna get it all the way specific. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, bam. If you ain't know me before living great, yeah, you call me Chris. Out the gate. Anything before that, just Sam. Okay. That that is real it's real plain and simple. Bam. Wait, you said that backwards. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I said it all the way forward. Bam. If you knew me before living oh, okay. great, keep that yeah, you can you can say your Sam, you can say your yeah, I, I respect it because you really know me. Yeah, but anything after that, yeah, Chris with a K, capital. Capital K. Big capital. Mm-hmm. Big K's. Big bitches. I feel you. Yes, sir. I feel you. Yes, sir. Big bitches. No little bitches. Stop playing. No lowercase. No lowercase, you hear me? Big Chris. That's how we coming. So we got Rich Off Rap. And it's definitely coming in July, late July. 2020. It's going to be my birthday present. No, it's going to come in August. July 24th. Rich Off Rap. Nigga done gave a date. Come on, we'll push that bit to the 29th. Nigga done gave a July date. July 24th. Rich Off Rap. <laughs> when you riding down, what it is? College uh, driveway. I-10, the interstate, look up to your right, you'll see billboards. Here. When you're coming down airline, yeah, right there by Greenwell, huh. and old Hammond, <laughs> yeah, oh, <man>. look up <laughs> to the sky. Nigga said that. And old Hammond, yeah, look up to the sky, you'll see billboards. Come yeah. on, man. Shout out my peoples, you hear me? Yeah, we not playing with these niggas, yeah. Come on, man. man come you gonna have billboards to up to team. that bitch? Shout out to the y'all know some I feel rich about billboards. Nigga, rich off rap, man. Y'all yeah, know I feel about hey, the marketing scheme. Hey, guess I'm gonna be on that How you gonna be on that bill? <laughs> Get this nigga out of here, man! <laughs> Get this nigga out of here! You gonna be on that bitch, Perk? <laughs> you look at the camera with that bitch. I'm really gonna make this a whole uh, clip on that. Gotta be a clip. That <laughs> gotta be a clip. Real, yeah. Come on, man. So look, so, usually how we kind of do this after we do our spit, we do it that. to where um, <laughs> we have the guests they given the advice on what can be done. But uh, you rich off a of rap, not to you rich off rap. So tell me, what can these new artists do to hey? What can these new artists do to um, kind of progress themselves? Musically, man, just keep going. I tell my niggas all the time. I'm, I'm telling you this, Droop. I'm telling you this, Perp. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I feel like I'm at the position that I'm at right now is because I kept going. I ain't let nothing, I ain't let nothing stop me, regardless of whatever it looked like in real reality. I never stopped. You hear me? I just kept going. I feel like that's how I'm able to. I ain't see you take a break, honestly, since I've known you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't no a lot of niggas no feel like seasons. I take a break because I'll be offline or I'll not be active on social media, but that's when I'm really getting it in. When I'm not on social media, that's when I'm really, you know, crafting it, crafting this sound, crafting how the shit, you know, how the shit really got to go. You know what I mean? But I feel like that's the main thing I did, like just kept going. And that's the main thing y'all got to keep doing, man. Just keep going. Don't let that shit go. And I know this thing for a fact. Number one, bam. You can't, with this music shit, if you want to keep this shit serious, bro, you got to be 100% with this music shit. You can't be with nothing else. I don't give fuck a fuck. Fuck all that other shit. It, man, I don't give a fuck what it is, bro. You got to be 100% with the music. You can't think about nothing else. You can't care about nothing else. It's this music or everything. It's this music over shit. Fuck it. Over your rent. It's this mm -hmm. music over your yep. bills, over everything. And if you ain't living So you like really got to be a starving artist. You got to be a real starving artist. Shit. I done, I, done, I done had eviction notices. I done had all type of shit. You hear me? Look, we'll talk about the rich off rap shit, but we'll talk about when I was poor off rap too. You hear me? That's good. I done had eviction notices. I done had all type of shit. When I'm not knowing how I'm going to get my next meal, oh, yeah, on my soul, yeah, all type of shit. Yeah, but I kept going because I knew that was that shit for me. Because that's when God really just testing you, like, okay, okay, yeah, how bad you want it? You know, how, you know, 
how bad you want it, how much, how far you willing to go for this shit. You hear I me? Mean? They're gonna push you to the limps. You hear I me? Mean? But you gotta just stay solid, stay, stay pressure, and, and just keep your head up. You gonna, you know, you gonna eventually prevail. They really, That's, they really go for everything. They bro. go for it. It go for everything. Nigga every... really just testing to see how bad you want that shit. You hear me? Nigga ain't gonna play no games with you. So nigga gonna push you all the way to your furthest limps just to see. And yeah, nigga push me to my limps. Like I said, I had eviction notices. I had all, all, all type of shit. Yeah. Huh. But not no more, bitch. What the <laughs> fuck wrong with y'all nigga chair? Oh my soul, Break yeah. The fuck up. Not no more. <laughs> Never again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk, cause look, niggas be, hey, yeah, niggas be probably thinking I be stunting bad, I be, yeah, but deep down inside, I really be wanting to stunt some more. <laughs> I really be wanting to stunt harder, you hear me? Well, you know what, this your place to stunt if you feel like stunt, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, Drew, when you coming back in town? You know I don't put that business out there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it, I'm, I got a real question for you, though. I got a real, real question. From the, the eyes of people. He's signing me an autograph right now. The eyes of people in BR. Mm-hmm. A lot of these people know you as Chris James from Dream Team. Uh huh. Ah, shit. You now still Chris James from <laughs> XO, but it's more Chris James than the XO. Mm-hmm. We got Kid just dropped his tape. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping we get an accent tape at some point. Mm-hmm. You doing you. What's next for all y'all? I know this for the whole city, but mm-hmm. I'm going to like, zoom it in for a second. Like, you're going to do what you're going to do your shit for the city regardless. What's, but, next? what's next for everybody that came that stayed up with you? Like I know you got niggas that's really putting it in on rap, and I want to see them get it too. And I ain't seeing you not doing it for them. But the see the way I've had people ask me, Sam, I'm gonna run with them no more. <laughs> yeah, the people who ask you that, huh, y'all retarded. Here, stop playing. XO shit to the day I die. Stop playing. Aston, he good forever. Kid, he good forever. We ain't doing no tripping or nothing. Dungeon, listen, he good forever. These right. niggas is coming on this bitch too because these niggas is good forever with me too. You know what I'm saying? They good forever. So whatever Hell I yeah. do, how I elevate, if I elevate to the top, guess what? They at the top too. We ain't doing no tripping. That shit ain't even no second guessing. We ain't even thinking about that shit because that shit automatically known. And they know that shit. I know that shit. You know that shit. He know that shit. You hear me? That's how we coming. You hear me? And now that y'all good. got that answer, stop fucking asking me. Stop asking. Yeah, it's always good. It's, it's forever. I do a lot of shit behind the scenes. I do a lot of shit to myself because I don't feel like that shit ain't none of y'all Everything business. don't need to be seen. That shit ain't none of y'all business. That Everything shit ain't be y'all business be when y'all see that shit in Forbes, nigga. Yeah, top five, nigga. And I ain't number five. Yeah, stop playing. Top five and I ain't number five. Yeah. I'm probably number one. Where's she? Most likely. We got we got features off Rift on Rich Off Rip. Look, y'all know that little, uh, I'll tell you this, because there'll be a lot of shit I don't want to speak about on social media, because social media really tame your voice. But look, the little clip y'all be seeing on my shit, that bitch got like 100,000 views. Yeah, that bitch my song. All that shit, all them comments y'all be saying, yeah, that bitch my song. I would put that bitch on that shit, but I don't think y'all. Don't. You can still email that bitch to me though. I don't think they. I don't think they really deserve that shit. Man, I I, I told y'all before y'all started recording. I didn't stop mentioning Sam on Twitter. Every time I mention him, I get about ten replies that say Chris James, what the fuck, <laughs> bitch. I'm not Chris James. Stop I'm mentioning me. Random ass shit. But look, that's what I'm trying to say. Look, that's the. The main thing I want to see happen is after I drop this rich off rap shit, I'm going to get richer off rap, and then I'm going to get true. I'm going to get perp. But, but, well, no, look, perp, your podcast are really popping. So you're going to be straight without me. Oh, uh, damn. damn. I appreciate it, though. Damn. I'm going to go grab Drew, because Drew, you ain't doing nothing with music. That's what I'm saying. Bam, I'm going to grab you. Bam, I'm going to grab all my people. We're going to get richer off rap. Damn, I, I ain't fucking rich off a of pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I trust you. You're going to be rich off pie for sure. Manifest show. that shit, huh? You're going to be rich off pie for sure. For sure, for sure. It's crazy. We was talking about this on Twitter, and it's it's really wild. At one point, everybody that's doing something in the city, we all ran together in our own ways. Yes, sir. And it's wild. We know people that, that do crazy shit. Like, it's, I, always, I, always, I always joke about it, but I always go... And my daughter, too. When she 10, I expect her to come to me one day and be like, I'm listening to that new Chris James. And I'm going to FaceTime my nigga and show him. And I'm going to show like, my I daughter, expect too. That my kind daughter of shit is to happen. And Dang. she's starting to know people. Hey. Hey, he's better. Okay, good. <laughs> so, look. We're going to take us a quick little break. And we're going to uh, do this bathroom break. Oh, shit. Well, 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 well. 
So we back from our little break. He went take his piss break as every rapper do. So uh, I'm finna count my I'm finna count my engineer in. You ready? Look, he didn't finish his bottle. Hold on, I ain't even finished my bottle. I gotta hold on. That bitch empty. So, anyways, look. If you kill this thing, I'm gonna finish my bottle. All right. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna count my engineer in. You ready for this? And this is one of your beats. Let's go. What we we doing? How we coming? I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna hear when I get to one, five, four, three, two, one. I love it. Hey, follow right on key. Mm -hmm. Next shining bad. I don't need no light on me. Yeah. No. Chill, you too extra. It ain't exciting me. You got a full plate in front of him, but he been biting me. Ain't nothing changed. Same dudes to the left and right of me. Mm -hmm. Fucked up, say I lucked up and hit the lottery. Yeah. Studio, long nights, that's what they ain't see. In my head, no, you ain't right. How could you hate on me? Yeah. Whipping the red eye, they ain't heard of this. And know it's hard to describe me. Ain't got no words for this. Wanna bust down the road, let put it in surgery. Play games, see your white shirt, we turn that burgundy, yeah mm. Send them way up, go feed the birds for me Easy work, this shit like layups, come get this work for me, yeah Send a nigga up, yeah, that's burglary See the hate, we gon' hurt it in, don't say it verbally, yeah Turn bad, charged up, I got that with me Big bank, take the lip bank, you can't splurge with me, yeah mm. Make a nigga act if they get the word from me Fast money, ain't no slowing down, get it urgently, yeah Fast living nigga, I ain't about to slow down Jumped in the PJ, bought it up a whole pound I'm in that rack VIP, about to make my rounds Trying to act like you ain't see me then, you see me now Yo. Yeah, ain't then go I keep accumulating random hate the f that I go Don't assume that I'm that nigga, man, that's something that I know XO, them niggas down for life like shorty low, yeah and my niggas ballin' out, no give and go Doing so well, but it's a cold world, I need a coat Nigga run up dumb, we do him nasty like Henny Coke Nigga peepin' me, they lookin' at me like him the goat, yeah Me the goat, I do him dirty, they need soap huh. Big dope, yeah, roll it up, I sit and choke Bitch, I'm smokin' presidential, but I didn't vote, yeah I ain't turnin' down, it's up with me, I'm fuckin' woke And this bitch real, lit bitch, I'm rollin' like a sudden float Karma, she a bitch and she a blessing, don't know how that go Fuck this man, nigga, learn my lesson and I'm tired of this, the CEO, so I do what I want I can't get fired for shit Hey, why you try me, bitch? You gotta pick a side for this Keep talking to your Nike slippers Talking, we gon' slide you, bitch Slide a nigga like a playground Won't pick a side for this My money long as fuck, I'm breaded up Don't know what size is this Came in vibing, I just counted up my positives I counted up a lot of shit Bet everybody follow this there You my fucking son I'm following this I've been on that dumb shit I kicked out all my college side Come on! Man, that's the motherfucking Chris James, I know! Come on! You heard me? Hey, man, look! Come on! Yo, 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 yo! Yeah, okay! I'm full of liquor! Yo! Yeah, 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 I'm full of liquor. Yo, these yo. niggas can't fuck with us. We ain't tripping on these niggas. Yeah, I'ma show them. Yeah, hey, six figure nigga, that's for real life. Yo. Yeah, six figure nigga, that's in real life. I ain't even rapping. I'm just telling these niggas I got six figures. Yeah, these niggas can't fuck with us. Yeah, yeah. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on. Come on I really wanna rap, but they think I'm yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Champagne, my nigga. Stupid, it's the champagne eat. got my nigga going stupid. It ain't Ciroc <laughs> tonight, baby. It's the shelf. He, he did. Built that bitch. He built that bitch. Mm -hmm. Rich off rap coming soon. Rich off motherfucking rap, right? What y'all about to do? Nigga said, what y'all about to do? <laughs> y'all about to listen to that motherfucker when this drop, ain't it? Come on, man. Nigga said, I don't look Hollywood to me.